นี่ขอเปิ้ลตีเราจะต้องหาจุดที่เราต้องตัดออกจากนี้ 
because that's just going to confuse things. Where's the middle of this pipe? Well, probably about here. And using the same logic of a third up here, I'm going to measure in 25 to here and then project the same lines again. So that 25 up to there would look like this and then 25 down to there would look like that. All of a sudden, I'm once again left with a very decent profile that will hopefully, once dressed down a bit, fit the pipe. At least that's a theory. So, practical world application, let's give it a go. safety gilet on. Not bad. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that's probably the profile measuring technique I'll go from now on if I'm ever going to work the pipe. But there is obviously one other technique you can use when you're doing roll cages. Throw money at it. What is this horrible medieval looking bastard supposed to be? Well, I'll install one bit of kit that it doesn't come with and see if that helps you work it out. So, remember my chat when we were talking about the rule of the third? You don't need these bits at the end. So, what this drill type device has given me is the very bits I was wanting to avoid. But that's because what I've used is the exact same size of hole saw as this pipe. So, naturally, with a little bit of, you know, offsetting nonsense, that's exactly the cut it's going to give. So, it will leave the tips. The problem is, I will now need to dress these down to get rid of them because, as you can probably see, that's useless for welding. So, which method's better? I don't know. That was quick, don't get me wrong, and it was pretty bloody accurate because I have actually dialed in the 15 degree kink that I'm going to need just to, you know, set the spar off to the top of the roll cage. So it does save a bit of time with that, but it's not saving me any grind time because I'm still going to have to flatten that down. Jury's out, but I think the big decider for me is how long that hole saw is going to last. This was a pretty meaty cut, and whilst that's a pretty good brand, this hole saw, it wasn't the best. So, I shall keep you informed.
ones for a montage. Uh, yeah, that Supra, all, all the Supra stuff. That that yeah. Start of the episode was before that, and this is us now. So apologies if I've forgotten a few things, but these guys have been the missing link as well. Granted, I forgot to order them and then I did Supra stuff, but this is what I've been waiting on. Well, pay close attention to the fact that it's six mil thick plate. It's very nicely laser cut. Fits perfectly. I've got four of them and I paid a grand total of 12 quid. How much time and money would that cost me to do myself? So this little solution is going to go in here, as you probably guessed. I'll need to flatten down and level this off so that this plate sits completely level with this bar. And then onto the bar, we're going to weld another plate so that the whole roll cage is still detachable. Once I weld that on, I'm probably going to have to put another gusset just to make strength down here. And then uh, that's it for the upside down phase. walking away from a project for several months and then coming back to it thinking you've got the plan because you don't have a plan whoops right here's where I went wrong see how I spent loads and loads of time making that nice and neat and they're all ready to weld on and blah 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 what did I forget? see that screw? that's now completely obscured <laughs> yeah remember the original plan was to mount these under here well Better to have cut too little than too much. this has taken so long to get out but we're back on it this has all been welded as you can see we've made up our own plates to attach it to the chassis but we've also got adapter plates to put them onto the bottom i've got the two spars welded in properly because i can reach them because they're upside down and properly weld them what i'll need to do is figure out some sort of gusset idea to just put a bit of strength into the bottom plates i'm probably going to put them where those old bolt holes were for the clamshell that now no longer will attach there because I didn't think it. This is for me to make a mistake on and you to learn from. In the next episode, and there will be a next episode, and it won't be three months from now, I am going to get this car the right way around and start what I'm going to regard as final assembly. However, I do have to do a few things. And having gone in and looked at this car month after month without anything really happening I have been able to ponder some things and I'm going to be honest I've made a mess of a few things I'm going to get into this in the next episode but there are one or two little things I need to remedy anyway 
Apologies for everyone here saying for low cost stuff. Thank you for staying subscribed this long. If you just found this because it's low cost stuff and you've never heard of it because you've not seen anything to do with low cost for three months on YouTube, please hit like, bell, subscribe because there will be more to come. Uh, if you feel generous is enough to support a bit more than that, patreon.com slash tools and track. That's why you get all the rock music and I don't get paid from YouTube for any of it because it's all funded through Patreon. So that'll do for now. Until next week, guys, play safe.